Yo guys, so here's another video on this streaming stuff. Uh, so let's go to scenes. Scenes, yeah, this one. Alright, so I'm gonna go live. Um, nothing. Just, it's not gonna be anything important. So, as you can see, there's not, you can't see the screen because game capture. I'm gonna make it, uh, display capture real quick. I don't use this one, so it doesn't matter what it looks like. Alright, so... Now, if I press F12, can you guys see this thing on my screen that's like b like darker in those areas? Whoa, that's bad typing by me. It shows up, which is really sick. So if you want to be able to read your chat and stuff like that without having a second monitor, you can do it now. Like, um, and and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do it. So, um. Basically, what you're going to want to do is everything pops up here. Um, your followers and stuff like that. Your new followers, subscribers pops up there. So, go to settings. Go to hotkeys. Make sure you have a hotkey hot set up. Mine's F12, so every time I press F12, that's when it goes off and on. Make sure it's working. Yeah, it's working. Um, and then, if I go to settings, and then I go to game overlay. Uh, enable in-game overlay. So, when I press... Uh, when I make sure when it's off, it doesn't do anything. So then it doesn't do anything. Uh, you can make it so it only shows recent events, or you can make it so it only shows uh, chat. I have it on, on both. Um, toggle positioning mode. You can choose where you want the chat and the recent events to be. You can change how dark it or um how yeah how like transparent it is basically. So let's say I go to game overlay, put it on a hundred. I can't see past it, but like it's there still. If I put it on 10, you cannot see, or 0, or 10, yeah, you can barely see it. Say 30, that's what mine's on. Um, 40 is good. I mean, 60 is what a lot of people I know use, but that's like older people that I know. So, yeah, put it on whatever you want. It doesn't matter. This is just my preference. Um, everything still works if, say, you go to Borderline by Nerd or Die. This still works, so... Stream starting in game. It still works. Um, and a lot of you guys were like wondering why it wasn't working. Make sure uh, you go into game game capture. Make sure this is open. So like here, I'm gonna delete this game capture and I'm gonna start a new one. Wow. Okay. Okay. End stream. I don't need that stream going anymore. So, um, you guys were wondering what's going on. So, right now, if I put it on auto, then, or if I put it on specific window, nothing will be there for uh, the Bongo Cat. So, make sure Bongo Cat's open. I usually just have mine in the background. Like, I just, you can drag it down to the side, and it's you can barely even see it. Like, you can see the X and stuff like that, which doesn't matter. And then... Give it a second. Uh, actually, no. What you what you should do if you already had this open before you brought Bongo Cat open, go back in, and there it is, Bongo Cat. Done. Size it. Size it up. All right. Alright, there we go. Now it's there. Size it. If you guys want the in-game overlays, which is like the new subscriber, top donation, all this stuff. If you want that, let me know. I can show you guys. Um, if you want something like stream intermission, stream ending, stream is starting, be right back. If you guys want that stuff, I can show you how to do it. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you drop a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications to be notified every single time I go live or start a video or do a video or um, and also you there out, shut up also go check out the description to see all my uh my social medias my instagram my tiktok my youtube or i mean not my youtube my twitch everything is down there go check it all out see you guys in the next video bye guys